said, I think we can endure this family. Let's relocate. And they relocated with their children to a land called Moab. And when they got to the land, they were doing very well. Of course, they have escaped from famine. And in a short while, the Bible says the husband died. And after 10 years, the two sons died. It remains just the wife. And by this time, the two sons, they have already married. Unfortunately, the, there was no issue. There was no children. So now we say, well, I came here with husband, I came here with two children now. There is nothing to show. Turn back from me. Go back to your country. I'm going back to my country. And the two of them said, no. We are not going. We, you've been a wonderful mother-in-law to us. We're going to stick with you. He said, wait a minute. You must stick with me for a purpose. But let me tell you, right now I'm already old. Right now, even if you waited and I got married to another husband and I give back even now, uh, will you be able to wait? <laughs> and, <laughs> so there is no hope for me and I don't want to waste your time. Return back. I release you from my heart. I release you. You, can, you are still very young. And Oprah said, that's true. <laughs> this man is being genuine. Mama, God bless you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and the Bible says that he, she turned back. But as Ruth said, don't even tell me to turn back from you. For wherever you go, I will go. Your people shall be my people. Your God shall be my God. <sighs> tell your neighbor a turning point. A turning point. She made a decision that she didn't even understand, but because it was a genuine decision, God backed her up. Someone is going to make a decision today. Amen. And it will be a good decision. Amen. It will be a decision that will unfold your destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When they left where they used to be, they left because there was famine. Mm. Brethren, may I quickly tell you this, in the journey of life, you will experience famine. Mm. There is famine everywhere. Even in this country, there is famine. There is no better place than to be in God. So, they thought they can escape famine. Now, they took a step without asking God. The steps you are taking on a daily basis, are you asking God? Is it a decision that you take just rational decision, emotional decision, decision orchestrated by friends and colleagues? As after all, you said, I should do it. Now, they took this decision, look at the end product. The Bible says she lost her husband, she lost her only two sons, where she thought it was safe. Because our decision was based on the flesh. What is a turning point? There are so many people in the scripture who experience a turning point in their life. And this turning point either make them or mad them. This turning point cause a change in their life positively. And to some, it caused a change in their life negatively. Mm. There are people whose, whose destinies are tied to the decision they make today. Where you are today is as a result of the decision you made yesterday. Yes, sir. The decision you are going to make today will determine where you will be tomorrow. Naomi husband and her wife, they make a decision that ruined their destiny, if not for the mercy of God. Now, Ruth makes such a conscious decision that was rooted in the fear of God. And she ended up being the great grandmother of Jesus Christ. She follows somebody that she had no clue 
about her future. But she believed so strong in the God she was serving. I'm telling you, when you stand for God, God will stand for you. Amen. What is a turning point? A turning point is a point at which a decisive change takes place. What is